For 20 months, Janice McDonald has been home searching for work, laid off from the RV customer service job she held for 33 years. It's me and the dog. <laughs> he doesn't know, you know, he likes me home. <laughs> She'll stop getting her $390 a week unemployment check in less than three weeks. It clearly is tough. It's tough. Yeah, I'm sorry. Elkhart County saw as many as 12,000 people filing for unemployment benefits each week in 2009. But by last month, that number had fallen to 2,400. Thanks to improvement in the main industry here. RV manufacturing. Oh, business is good. Ron Fennick is with Keystone RV. It's great for all of the companies and all the individuals that are working. But there's, a, you know, the food lines are still quite long. Just look at church community services. Where compared to last year, demand is up 23% in the last three months. They worry if people stop receiving their unemployment checks. I think we could see a whole other tidal wave of, of people in disaster. These benefits can last up to 99 weeks. That's nearly three months longer than any time in U.S. history. They now cost the country nearly $224 billion a year. Scott Welsh says they can create the wrong incentive. If you keep giving them stuff, then they're going to find ways to take advantage of that. Welsh tried to hire 10 employees over the last six months to staff his packaging company. He says only half the applicants were really looking for work. A lot of people are just coming by and saying, fill out my card so I can continue to get my unemployment benefits so I look like I'm looking for a job. When you hear people saying that the extensions don't help, what do you think? I think, come to Alcart. <laughs> Janice McDonald had a job interview the day we met, but still no word. In the worst scenario, I empty out my house and I move in with my 81-year-old mother. <laughs> it's an anxious wait with the clock ticking. Seth Doan, CBS News, Elkhart, Indiana.